Let's find out the seven best friends from the animal world. Goby Fish and Pistol Shrimp Goby Fish and Pistol Shrimp form a remarkable partnership where gobies act as watchdogs for Pistol Shrimp, warning them of approaching threats, while Pistol Shrimp provide burrows for gobies to hide in. This mutualistic behavior allows both species to thrive in their shared habitat, relying on each other for protection and shelter. Remora Fish and Sharks Remora fish and sharks engage in a commensal relationship, where one species benefits while the other is neither harmed nor helped. Remoras hitch a ride on sharks, feeding on scraps of food left behind by their host. While remoras benefit from the protection and mobility provided by sharks, sharks are unaffected by the presence of remoras, making this relationship one-sided but not harmful. Remoras share a similar relationship with sea turtles. They often attach themselves to the shells or bodies of sea turtles, using a suction cup-like structure on their heads. This showcases Remora's ability to capitalize on the movements of larger marine species for their own benefit, without imposing any significant burden on the host. Ants and Aphids Ants and aphids form a symbiotic relationship where ants protect aphids from predators and parasites, while aphids provide ants with their sweet honeydew excretions, creating a bond of mutual dependence. Anemone fish and sea anemones. The relationship between anemone fish and sea anemones is a classic example of mutual symbiosis. Anemone fish seek refuge within the tentacles of sea anemones, which provide protection from predators due to their stinging cells. In return, anemone fish defend the sea anemones from intruders, while also providing nutrients to anemones through its waste. In addition, they also help circulate water around sea anemones, aiding in their respiration and nutrient uptake. Fun fact! Anemone fish are also commonly known as clownfish due to their vibrant colors and playful behavior, which resemble the appearance and antics of clowns. And yes, Nemo from the movie Finding Nemo is an anemone fish. Zebra and wildebeest. Zebras and wildebeests often form mixed herds for protection against predators, displaying a bond of mutualistic cooperation where each species benefits from increased vigilance and shared resources. This cooperative behavior enhances the survival chances of both species in the challenging and competitive savanna environment. Oxpecker birds and their herbivorous hosts Oxpecker birds and their herbivorous hosts, such as rhinos and buffalo, share a unique relationship. The oxpeckers feed on parasites like ticks and lice found on the host's skin, providing them with relief from irritation and potential diseases. In return, the hosts offer a steady source of food and a safe perch from which the birds can forage. This symbiotic bond not only benefits both parties by ensuring the health and well-being of each, but also showcases the intricate web of connections that exist in nature, where cooperation leads to mutual survival and thriving. Hermit crabs and sea anemones. Hermit crabs and sea anemones engage in a symbiotic relationship, where hermit crabs carry sea anemones on their shells for protection, while sea anemones benefit from increased access to food and mobility. This mutually beneficial partnership ensures the survival and well-being of both species.